We are live with the semifinals of Tuesday Night Hype 26. BlizzCon points are on the line. We have the fantastic caster, as always, Matty J Mania. And today, a pleb named Kevin Cookies. Say hi to Blizzard, Kevin Cookies! Hi, Blizzard. Thanks for the tavern brawl, or whatever it's called. I'm really looking forward to it. Oh, you mean the no announcement of new cards or relevant content patch? Yeah. But they, they, did a, they made a fun thing instead, so I'm forever grateful. And I enjoy fun as well. There you go. Isn't that what the game's all about? Yeah. Fun. I don't know about y'all, but I'm excited for this Resident Sleeper match. <laughs> Wait, I can't, I can't see your... We also cannot see, oh, but I'm assuming see. it's Warrior vs. Warrior. Oh, exactly. Good guess, Maddie. <laughs> yes. I didn't think it was going to be Hunter vs. Hunter. <laughs> it is Control Warrior versus the other one, definitely a Control Warrior. We, it's, we cannot tell yet. I see a Frothing Berserker. Yeah, we do see a Frothing down here, so. Yep. I'd assume Patron. Oh, wait. So is it Patron? Is the top one Patron, too? What's the three drop? Is that... And Wired. Wired has a three um, drop next to the uh that is a, fight. What is that three drop? What is that? Is it a dragon card maybe? I can't see it. Is it some type of dragon? Oh. Um Well anyway, we certainly know that I think it I think they're both patron. I think they're both going to be patron. Either that or Wired has a very strong early game control hand. Oh, it's Acolyte. So it's really can't tell. I'm a, I'm assuming it's going to be patron. It still can't tell. It has to be patron, right? Oh, is that what that is? Yeah, it's an Acolyte. Oh, okay. It looks uh -oh. weird upside down. Yeah, it does. The brawl. Uh, we we uh, still have still have no information. I mean, patron could run like, brawl. The top looks like control. I think top's control too. Double double Belcher, but he does have like a really strong yeah. hand early for control. He's like he's a uh, like right where he wants to be. Right. And control is known as a counter. <laughs> Control is known as a counter in Patron. And it's a good start. So. That's good. But, you know, Patron already has its cards, which is really important. Yeah, that is the important part, is the combo. Um, so, basically, Wired has to, like, get, get rid of the stuff that makes Control Warrior good early, because it's just going to turn into a liability the longer this game goes on. Yeah. So he's gonna, if I was him, I would try, like, recognizing, as soon as he can recognize that he's playing against a patron and not a control, start dumping things like his Acolyte. Or doing things like he did earlier, task mastering the Acolyte. Right. Now, he does have a lot of the answers already. He's got his uh, Fiery Warx. He's got his Death Spite. He's got his Brawl. He's we got an Execute. He's pretty much ready to roll. Uh, we are missing Harrison Jones, though. Harrison Jones is a really important card. Yeah, Harrison is important to, like... Harrison would have been a good play, like, right on that last turn, rather than, like, the Acolyte Death Spite to just... Yeah. Anytime you break the death spite without them getting the value on it is just a, yeah. a plus one for you. It's just a win. I really um, like the the Doctor Boom right here for the patron. It, it's strange, but in this situation, that worked out beautifully. Yeah, it's gonna it fits in nicely, and I mean, next turn he can combo if it's gonna be relevant. Uh, he might hold off on it. We'll see. Oh. Iron Juggernaut, I love it. I absolutely love it. I'm I'm so pumped he's playing that card. I was I was playing an Iron Juggernaut Warrior earlier this week, but I would never bring that to a tournament. Wow, that's that's 
That's it. That's really cool. I like I'm, I'm into it. I'm way into it. And you must be doing well with it, obviously, you know? Yeah. I mean, I feel like Juggernaut's a good card. It's just that Control Warrior is just so tight on room. Yeah, I, I think the real problem is just that the six, the six slot is so contested. Yeah, there's just way too much. Sylvanas, Thorson, you know, I mean, there's the, like so many, so many other uh, double shield maidens. Yeah. It's just so, it's so hard. Karen Bloodhoof. Obviously. Kevin, nobody runs Karen Bloodhoof but you. I run Karen Bloodhoof. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of patrons though. I mean, if you had Karen Bloodhoof, that would stop them. <laughs> Are you just gonna point out every time Karen Bloodhoof <laughs> would be of value in this game? Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Karen Bloodhoof, answer for everything. We see everybody getting in here. There's lots of people in here right now, and the more people are about to be in here. This is where you Iron Juggernaut pass, obviously. Now, Brawl is the only solution. You see, this is the thing, right? It might be a double Brawl. But if it's not, then that could end up being an issue. Yeah, um, I mean, Double bar double Brawl's been pretty popular recently. Yeah, but I mean, it's not it's not a reach to say that it might just be a one, you, you know, it could just be a one Brawl. Especially with the Juggernaut, too. I mean, I, I'm really curious what he doesn't have in that deck. Maybe he cut a Shield Maiden for it? I don't know. I'm just pumped he has it. You're, this is what I'm saying, is that if you're including cards like like Juggernaut, I feel like you'd be the type of person to cut something like a, a second brawl, you know? Yeah. Ooh, slamming his own. Um, I mean, I guess there could potentially be merit to cutting oh. something like um, Alex Straza or something, because it's oh, almost... Oh, God. Oh, God. Look at that hand. That hand is ridiculous. Yeah, that hand is uh, that hand is a GG, I think. Uh, well, the Belcher, of course, yeah. is in the way, but with the execute, he can. Mm, he doesn't. He needs a Tharsan, really, honestly. Yeah, if he had a Tharsan, it's just it's over. So, what do you? This is awkward. It is awkward because of the Belchers in the way. You can... If you play... Because that's his second war song, so you have to be sparing with it. Honestly, I think you start this hand, or this like series off right here with the Battle Rage, unfortunately. Or what if you played like Frothing, Whirlwind, and then Battle Rage? Kind of like sacrifice your Frothing. And then execute the first half of the Belcher? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I don't know if that's the right play. Yeah, it's pretty tough. I'm not I'm not a patron player, so Yeah, I mean I've played I've played enough of it that I just I mean and you've both we both played enough Hearthstone to know that this is awkward right here. Yeah. It's kinda yeah. tricky. I the the whirlwind execute has to happen regardless. So is he gonna? Oh, he's just passing. Wow. Nefarium. Actually, does he even have room in his hand to play Nefarium? He doesn't. He's gonna play the Juggernaut. I love it. And look at the look at the gold Juggernaut with the gold mine. That's he's right. gonna he's gonna draw the mine right now because that's how it works. Yeah. At least that's how it works when it gets played against me. I had that happen for a lethal once. I just. I played Juggernaut, and he drew the mine on the first turn, and it killed him. Yeah, that's how it works. That's what the mine does. Yeah, it's 6-5, six, 6 cost, uh, battle cry, deal 10 damage to the enemy hero. <laughs> so is he gonna... He can't just go for it because he can only get one through. Right. Ooh, this is an interesting line. 
This might be the correct line, too. So he's going to draw three cards. So you draw first, then execute? Because you might be able to... Oh, my gosh. There's Bam! the line. He gets the greetings. Patron. And there's the Thorson. Just a little too late. We needed him... Basically, we needed him two turns ago. He would have been perfect two turns ago. So that's interesting. He executed the Juggernaut and not the Belcher. I think I would have taken out the Belcher because that's what's that's what's in your way right now. Yeah, I agree. Well, he wants to get a patron off it, right? Yeah, but that's what I mean, though. You kill the first half of the Belcher. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Last turn. You kill the first half last yeah, yeah, turn. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. So, he he's... Able to inner rage, right? Yeah, he has to inner rage, run it in, and then just go, start going... He can inner rage. Whirlwind is kind of risky, actually. I don't even think I whirlwind. I think I just start bouncing him. I think I inner rage the other one, too. Bounce it, inner rage it, inner rage the other one, and then start your whirlwind. Or do you just start bouncing them? Hmm. Everyone, get in here, get in here, get in you know what? Honestly, I think I don't like the Whirlwind there. I think I like playing the Armor Smith over the Whirlwind and just start bouncing uh, your, I, I, your, I, yeah, I bouncing your patrons off the boom bots and taking your chances that way. It's a lot safer. And so you got to develop Despite this turn. Yep, there he goes. And Shield Maiden's fine. You kill the... I think you kill the... Um, War song, actually, because that's what's causing your headache. And then you're set up for lethal. Yeah, Except but for Belcher's going to be in your way. Belcher and Armor Smith seem scary. So you do that, and then you play Shield again. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's hard to, like, play into a Belcher as the control. Like, you're oh, not really, you're not really expecting it. No, you know I'm what I mean? mean. One, one off. One off, boys. Can't get a lot of armor. So, I think... Uh, I don't think the control warrior can win unless they run an owl. That's, that's or second brawl. So, or second brawl. So he has to go shield block into brawl. Yeah, that's not gonna do it. That's gonna be game. He can't attack with the. He can't attack with death spite. It's that's game. I think wire just concedes here. Is he thinking about going double armor smith BGH hitting the Belcher? That will only give him six armor and it will put six more attack on the board. It's like doing nothing, but you do clear the Belcher. That's really the only play I see for him if he doesn't want to concede. Yeah. I would just concede, honestly. Yeah, honestly, I would too. I mean, it's I guess in theory the game's not over, but I mean we've both played enough Hearthstone to know this game is over. I, I would just yeah, you know, I just focus my energy towards the next. Yeah, game. he did. I mean, he could have lived there, but it would have just been annoying. Yeah. 
Yeah, I agree with you. You kind of just uh, call it a loss and move yeah. on. Um, and it's also, it's not like he was in a, um, it's not like series-wise he's in a bad position because now it's it's 1-1. One, one. Or was that the very first match? Uh, I think so. Maybe that was the first match. That was the first match, yeah. Yeah, it was. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, Maddie. We forgive you. Oh, I can sleep at night now. <laughs> so... What do you think about bringing the patron back? I guess there's merit to bringing your same deck back um, and not showing him a new class. Yeah, that's the idea. Patron and Handlock, honestly, I like Handlock a lot in this matchup versus Patron. Yeah, I do too. Ooh, he has a faceless. Always fun. Oh, it's, uh, it's Ryan's. It's Ryan's Handlock. Double O's for those who don't know, Ryan. It's been like all over the place. Everyone loves this deck. I mean, I like it just based on seeing Faceless. The handlock I mostly run is more or less Karma's handlock. Oh, yeah. Karma's great. Um, Yeah. She's amazing. Amazing handlock player. Yeah, but who doesn't want to play Leroy Jenkins in handlock? Wait, wait a second. I didn't know anything about Leroy Jenkins. Yeah, that's the whole deck. It's, it's Handlock, and then it has Leroy Jenkins with power and faceless. With uh, Thorson. Like yeah, it's like, it, it's a finisher. That's pretty great slash fun. Yeah. Alex is kind of interesting as well, so you just burn him down and then do the combo. Uh -huh, yeah, yeah. I like it. I hope we get to see it. We'll see something. <laughs> I will see cards. We will see cards being played. Car people will play them. So do you play... Uh, he's debating on playing the Armorsmith? I think I play it. Why not? I guess. I guess it's fine. Weapon's fine, too. You already have another one in your hand. Yeah. You know it's hand lock, so... Is it handlock though? <laughs> it's like. Oh yeah, it's handlock. Oh, it's the, got a. Uh, the imp gang boss. Got imp gang boss. Yeah. yeah, it's like the more cards I'm seeing, the. It's interesting. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever it is, I like it. Is it just like an OTK kind of deck? It seems like a mixture of a bunch of different things. Yeah, it does. It really does. But like I said, I like it uh, so far. I'm giving it like uh, a plus on creativity. Yeah. It's uh, just a hybrid. That's what it is. Um. Hmm. That Tharsan is so good. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's going to be crazy good. What are you going to get? Uh, eight cards on it? Or nine? Yeah, something like that. Something ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, you're going to get nine. You're going to get full value on it. That's about as good as you can get is nine. <laughs> yeah. So he had to use both Taskmasters on the Belcher. I, I think I hate that. Yeah, it's never good to use both Taskmasters. You always want to... You can. I feel like the general rule of thumb is that unless you're playing like a Hunter... You can use one sparingly, but then after that, you should probably you should do you should do your absolute best to save the other one. Uh, yeah, I agree. So I uh I recently just cut one Taskmaster for an owl. I'm cha I'm changing it back. No, I, you have to. You should, I, buddy. <laughs> I have to cut something else because Taskmaster. I I mean, there's just been so many scenarios where I've been like, man, I wish I had my other Taskmaster. Yeah. So. He's going to Hellfire into Coil, Coil into like Double Imp gang, boss. gang Bosses. Yeah. But there can only be one. There can only be one Gang Boss. Um, you would think that. 
They they would lead you to believe that. Yeah. I I like these kind of new handlock decks that are coming out because it's like it's like handlock, but at the same time, by drawing so many cards, you're developing a way to win at the same time. It gives you a threat. It gives you a real threat, which is off. Besides just like surviving, you know. Yeah. So siphon here, uh, it's pretty good. I mean, you have a lot of answers for other things. You have your BGH, and I think I use. I think I like the siphon, and then. I yeah, I like this. I like all this. Yeah. I like. I like everything he's doing here. Yeah, I think I still liked the uh, siphon instead, but it's got downloads too, which is cool. This is a yeah. real, this is a real interesting deck. It really is. It has a little bit of everything. Every card I, he has in it is good. Yeah. But how they all mesh together, I'm still like, I'm still waiting. I'm, the verdict's still out. Um, but I mean, nothing. Nothing has been bad so far. He's it's like he's taken a lot of high value cards and kind of put them in one deck. Yep. I really think it's going to be like an OTK deck yeah. with Leroy maybe with maybe Arcanes though. Oh yeah, it could be an Arcane deck. Does he have lethal next turn? If uh, I don't think so, right? Um power 4 5 6 8 9 plus 4 is 13. Yeah, no. Even with no armor. No, he'd be one off with no armor. Speak to me. Right. So I think he still just slammed down Alex, right? Uh, Boom might change it. Uh, Dark Bomb the Act. Nah, he's gonna dark bomb Ben or dark bomb Belcher. That's pretty smart. Yeah. Hit, hit. Uh, and then just go boom. He's gonna take the card draw. Wow, other power. So if he draws an arcane, it's like. I'm curious as to what the finish. There's gotta be like a, like. It. And yeah, it probably is like Arcane, but there's got to be like a finisher, you know, like a big, like an Arcane golem or a Leroy. Yeah, maybe both. But yeah, I mean, it's got to be Arcane, right? Arcane, if he draws an Arcane, it's game over. Watch like the next three cards he draws are like Arcane, Arcane, and like Wolf Rider. <laughs> Face hand lock. speak to me on main to foot. So... That was weird. I feel like he should have played the armor smith first. I don't know. What do I know? So maybe you just go face then hellfire. Maybe run the boom button the armor smith. He's going to gain a decent amount of armor doing that and then uh then you can drake If he's going to Hellfire, I feel like he, he run the boom bot in. I mean, I know he's going to get more armor, but... He also wants to guarantee that he only draws two more cards. You know what I mean? Because what if the boom bot hits an Acolyte for one or two? Or, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, that's fair. He's still going to get a dude from it anyway, so... There he goes. And that makes sense. Yep. Well, I wonder if he taps. Oh, is he scared of dying if he taps? He's out of Grom range still. Does he need to tap? 
I, I, we don't know his wind condition, so maybe. <laughs> yeah, it's tough. We don't know the wind condition. He, all, all I know is he has a lot of armor. So he's gonna siphon. I guess he's also probably gonna earthen then if he siphoned. It only makes sense. I don't know about. I don't know about siphoning that. I think that was unnecessary. I think. I mean, I guess you have to shred the armor. But, I mean, look, that just negates everything he just did, and now you have to deal with that. And now you are scared of dying. I dream. I'm a word. You can always use a power overwhelming the. Clear. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like he's going to go Dark Bomb, Force 7, or Dark Bomb, and then Power Overwhelming the 1-1. One, one. Or, or we have no idea how this deck works, Kevin. That might be an option as well. Because <laughs> yep. those Power Overwhelmings have to be valuable for the him to save, on to the, him to save them and not use it. Because it was a to me, it was pretty crystal clear that you power overwhelm the 1 1 and trade it in. It's gotta be it. Oh, I'm so curious. I want to see this arcane golem so my curiosity can be put to rest. Yeah, it's what it has to be. It has to be, right? Nope, we don't know. Who knows? There we go. Kevin, now we know. And he has the mana and the willpower to do it all with the zero. Three, four, zero, four, lethal. Bam! <laughs> and Wired right now it has to be rolling his eyes and just be like, oh my gosh. Because that's what happens to me anytime two 1210s hit my face from <laughs> out of nowhere. I just shake my head. Sometimes I laugh. Sometimes I scream. All the times I'm sad. I remember when Demon Lock was brand new. I used to run a Demon Lock with a. I used to have this little uh, arcane golem combo just to close things out sometimes. Yeah. That was fun. Yeah. Wow, Brandon, why do you keep abandoning us? I've been here. Stop abandoning us. Sure. Wow, good old Hunter versus Hunter. But it looks to be... Alright, so this is a hybrid. You know hybrid, and the other one looks like face. So it looks like hybrid versus face, which face definitely has the advantage. The only thing is that if, if hybrid runs a Houndmaster, and they get a really good one, then that's like devastating. But, uh, well, we'll see. So, um, yeah, it's gonna have to be like double Houndmaster, I guess, is like what you're saying. Otherwise, it's, uh, it's not like impossible to win, otherwise. It's no, like I mean, no match is impossible. Well, mostly no matches are impossible, but yeah, it's definitely favored for yeah. Face Hunter. I mean, he just makes the board super awkward. He's going to go with uh, the scientist, the leper gnome, and again, it's awkward face. And so now it's like you have to like pick the best slash worst one to kill. So he's gonna have to play abusive and like not get value on it to just try to negate some damage here. If that hits face, that's really bad. Yeah, um, it did. Um, it did. Best juggler NA right uh, there. That's really awful. Modor's juggler, best juggler. Oh man, I feel bad. And he doesn't even need to like deal with the board. I mean, I mm, honestly, I think I would have traded Lepernome into the juggler there just because it's like you're still getting the two damage. Why not? Right. And now look, he kind of got punished for it, but I mean, that's explosive trap, so he doesn't really get punished. 
Look how far behind Medora's on uh, with health. I know. He's so low already, and it's only turn four. Yeah. Now look, he's already at 15, and it's still turn four. <laughs> It's always the worst taking damage on your turn. <laughs> like, you know? Yeah. So, that's game. Ready to ride. Yep. Game by a lot. That's game by a little lot, lot. A little lot, ish. By not even close. Well played. It's weird too. Like I don't understand why mid range is at such a disadvantage against face hunter when there's other classes like um like mid range paladin that I think are like pretty good against face hunter. You know. Yeah. I think it's just maybe the Paladin has, uh, like, the heals, I guess, is pr probably yeah. what help it, but. So it looks like Modor was actually not even running, like, mid-range. He was running the hybrid and just drew really poorly. Is that what happened here? Yeah. So it's hybrid uh, versus. Um... Looks like control. Although I have seen patron of the brawl. brawl. No, no, we've already seen the deck though. It's definitely control. Oh yeah, what am I talking about? Stupid. Silly Cavbo. Silly Cavbo. So creeper, and then we're gonna go lepernome or glaive zuka into lepernome is probably gonna be the play. Yeah, remember it's he has the juggernaut that we love. Oh, yeah. Good old juggy. Good old jugs. Good old jugs. Good start, monster. Yeah, pretty strong. Um, I actually like mid-range hunter a lot versus control warrior. Oh yeah, but it's not really a mid-range though. You know, like it's a it's a pretend mid-range. Yeah, kind of. It has Savannah high mains in it, and Savannah high mains are super hard for warrior to deal with. Exactly. Yeah. That much we know. That's weird. I think I probably would have put Glaive Zuka on that turn. I was. I would have as well. I mean, you're gonna sneak an extra damage in. I guess there's merit to not doing it too. Yeah. I'm do it now. I guess. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. Um. I actually think putting it. No. Nah, if he would have put it on last turn, he could have played Lothab that turn. But do you even play Lothab into the Death Spite? Probably not. Right. So he's just going to take five to the face, draw a card. Or I'm sorry, four to the face right. for the Hunter. Um, Warrior's really low, though. Warrior's already at nine. He's in a, actually, he's in a really bad spot. There's the high main. I think you just you just have to slam high main. Slam high main, kill the one two. Mm -hmm. I don't think I go face. I think I just get rid of the. You get rid of the accolade for two reasons. One, you're controlling that he guarantees only gets one card. Two, you're stopping an execute on your high main. Right. That's just my thought on it, and that's probably what he's gonna do. He's probably gonna execute the high main. I think he has to execute the high main. Yeah. He could actually, um, he could Taskmaster the high main, Taskmaster execute. Oh no, he doesn't have enough mana. He'll be one mana short. 
I was going to say, then he could play the um, Death Bite. Right. But I think instead you just run into it, execute, play Belcher. Yeah, I, I don't think there's really another path. It's got to be it. He picked up that second Belcher. That's going to help him a lot. Um... It's not like, I mean, the Hunter does have lots of reach with the uh, kill commands and quick shots, but he doesn't have any in his hand right now. Freeze Trap Lotheb. I actually like going Juggler Lotheb because you're playing around Brawl simply by playing the Lotheb. Um... I like Armor Smith, um, Armor other Smith Belcher. Oh, What's that? Oh, he's gonna go for Taskmaster. Uh, I think I like second Belcher. I do too. It's also like really preventing you from dying with, um, ow. Yeah. Do it, wire. Do it. I guess he wanted to try to get more armor, though, because he's assuming that it's Freeze Trap. Uh, and there, there's the owl. If he didn't play that Belcher, he was dead. Uh, so now he's going to pick up his armor. And this is the swing parent. Armor made to fit. You know what would be cool is if you picked up, like, a Shield Maiden. Just... Yeah, Shield Maiden would be pretty cool. Shield Maiden, Shield Slam. At that point, you could probably uh, freeze out your Armor Smith. Or you could just freeze out the, you freeze out the Shield Maiden. Well, you'd have to stall a turn, though, and that's not really getting you toward yeah. pushing damage. Brawl is interesting. Yeah, Brawl's kind of... Uh, yeah, it's... Yeah. It's pretty risky, actually. I guess it's not that risky. So, you can armor up, shield slam the Lotheb. Taskmaster the one... To oh, he's going to execute. I was going to say you can always execute Lotheb, Taskmaster... The one, two, and then shield slam the other hyena... I think my I think I was gonna do the similar line, but rather save the execute. I don't know if that would have been any good or not, though. What now? Wait, what were you gonna do? So I was gonna shield slam, and then I was gonna armor up, shield slam, taskmaster, go face with the, or no, I'm sorry, try to run the one two. Or the one four into the hyena, knowing that it was freeze, and then just proc the other trap. So it would have got rid of his trap, so he would get no bow value as well. But I feel like this plays this line is probably better and s I don't know about safer. It's it's definitely safer because it cleared the whole board. So now you just brawl, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so attack in with your 2 2 first. Iron Jug. Let's 
So this is pretty good for Wired, actually. Yep. Wired's gonna take, all armor. take two to gain four. Eight. No, I'm sorry, gain eight. So the, 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 tempo. the warrior went from looking pretty bad to looking pretty good. Yeah, welcome to warrior, mate. <laughs> nah, it, it, yeah, it swings very quickly. Yeah, he stay. He was able to stabilize with the double belcher, and uh, I mean, honestly, I think the game is already going to go to the warrior. Yeah. But, like, he's just, like, a shield blocker, a shield maiden away from all but sealing it. So yeah. do you do you owl an armor smith here? Probably a, good, probably a decent idea. Huh. He's going to go with the Belcher. I don't think I like it. Only because you're not... You're not pushing any damage this turn. I don't know. Well, I guess now you are. So you're just going straight to the face with that? Hey, nah, he's going to wait. Block. So I think I like shield block, death spite. Armor up. Oh my gosh, shield block, shield maiden. There it is. No brainer. It's it, Not only did he get one of the cards I was saying is putting this game out of reach, he got both of them. Oh, God. So is he just going to set up lethal? All he has to do is hit face, um, make smart trades. Hit face with the weapon, of course. Yeah, he's going to make smart trades. That's going to be game. He knows it. We know it. GG. Wow, but what if he drew Deathwing? What if he drew Deathwing? That would be something, huh? That'd be really cool. It would be cool. Uh, real quick Deathwing story. Today on my EU account, I was playing Oil Rogue. Somebody played a Deathwing against me. They were at, it was a it was a mage with an ice block up. It was like a, a secret mage. They were at seven life. So I sapped the Deathwing, knowing that they were going to replay it. I sapped it, threw down boom, and hit their face for three, putting them at four life. Uh-huh. They played Death's Deathwing, and the Boombots just crushed their face. That's awesome. Yeah, it was great. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, they played Deathwing back to back. It was pretty pretty amazing. I just love that they played Deathwing. Um, so, Kempo, you got your the Shaman here. Are you pumped? Oh, man, Shaman, I'm ready. Let's see, what do we got here? A hex? Oh, looks like a, uh... Well, actually, we don't know yet. It looks like a mid-range, though. Yeah, it looks very similar to a type of Shaman that you would run. Yeah. Right? Yeah, definitely. And that's awesome. So I'm going to let you say what the Shaman plays you think should be, and I'll try to add my two cents. All right. But uh, so he's just going to put that on his face, face tank it. Yeah. How much do you care about your uh, zombie chow? You just care about having absolute board control. That's the whole point, right? Okay. You got to, if you don't have board control as a Shaman, you have nothing. Because That's fair. The entire strategy around mid-range shaman is uh, is uh, having board. You well, I feel board. I feel like board you lose the game. I feel like the shaman will have board the whole game because the entire strategy around the hunter is go face. So <laughs> and it'll have board control, but it is a tough matchup. Like I would, I would. I would pick against the Shaman here. Yeah. 
it's not a good match it, unless your deck revolves around aggressive like anti unless your deck is an anti uh aggro deck because you can make like i've had shaman lists of mine that are really good against hunter because that's what it's designed to do right like right. robot and all that nonsense yeah that makes sense but if it's not then I feel like this mid-range shaman deck is just, um, I don't know. I, I he's having a Neptulon, which is cool, but it's really slow. It's really bad in a matchup like this. Yeah, it's really bad in this. Um, in a more control-based matchup, I guess it makes sense. But yeah. I mean, it looks like he has a solid board now. Do you? If I was, I think I would trade the Lepernome. Yep, there you go. That's exactly what I would do. Yep. Pushing a ton of damage. The nice thing about Shaman though is that you can do damage really fast, right? Yeah, the longer this game goes on, actually, the better it's looking for the Shaman. Even though the Hunter already has him down to 12, I still think it looks... Yeah. It doesn't look bad for the Shaman. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, he could just... Shaman can just trade, trade Lightning Storm here. Oh, Earthshock trade I think First maybe even yeah I like that better yeah I like that way better wow so he turned this game around from I thought he was in a really bad position and yeah but he doesn't have three more damage yeah that's true he's gonna have to win the game this next turn right but he doesn't he can't yeah. Unless something happens, of course. Yep, not gonna be able to do it. Um, I mean, he has guaranteed... He's facing guaranteed five damage already. He knows. Oh, Harrison. Why did I... Why was I, like, just completely... Oh, man, that Alakir. That Alakir is late. So, it's still going to be game just because the hounds, but... Uh, taunt totem. Taunt totem. Taunt totem. Even if it was a taunt totem... Yeah, does that really save it? It know. was still game. Yeah. No, it was still game because you just needed two hounds to clear plus oh, hero okay. power. Okay. Yep. Well, Rest of pepperonis. That's sad, too. I was actually really rooting for the shaman that game. Not only because... It's a, against the hunter, but just because it's a shaman, right? <laughs> you know? It's it's a really unfortunate matchup, and I still believe that shaman has a lot of positive matchups. Just not that one. <laughs> right. I, I, you know, of course I'm, but I still think shaman is good. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah, that's Ooh, fair. Uh, just that matchup's awful. And even the most optimistic shaman player will tell you that that matchup is bad. Wait, was that the end of the series? Yep, Mordor wins. Oh, okay. Mordor is the winner. Mordor. They're taking the Hobbes to Isengard. 